This year's legislation doesn't reach into every workplace. It deals with the loopholes that undercut wages and conditions and closes those loopholes. Most businesses don't use the loopholes. Most will be unaffected. Although for many businesses, they have competitors that are unreasonably undercutting them who do use these loopholes. There's a series of them in the bill that I introduce next week, but I want to deal with the four major ones today, and in particular on the fourth, provide a good level of detail that hasn't been provided until now. The first of the loopholes goes to wage theft. Now, in take any shop, for example, the employer and the employee both have access to each other's money. The employee has access to the employer's money through the till. The employer has access to the worker's money through the wages. It is and should be a criminal offence for the worker to be taking money from the till. But it is not a criminal offence in most of Australia for the employer to be taking money from the wages. That loophole needs to be closed down. Most underpayments are not wage theft. Most underpayments are a mistake. Sometimes there can be issues of recklessness and things like that, but often there's just an honest mistake that's been made. And we don't want to catch any of that with the criminal law. But where someone has that same intention that the worker would have when they take money from the till, the criminal law needs to be available there as well. And we'll close that loophole in the legislation that I introduce on Monday.